According to the One World Literacy Foundation, which is a nonprofit charity that gives teaching resources to teachers to better educate their students on reading, they said on their website in 2015 that two thirds of students who are not proficient at reading by the end of third grade will either end up in jail or on welfare. If those of us in this room had not received a strong literacy instruction and guidance from our parents and teachers when we were young children, we'd likely not even be taking this college level class that we are now. A low literacy rate in the United States has far reaching effects. Today, I will be informing you about, I will be informing you about the literacy problem in the United States. And second, I will, give an, I will be giving an overall education as a solution. To begin, let's discuss the problem of literacy in the United States. We are seeing a low literacy rate, especially with younger generations. According to Chuck Luddy, a communication specialist, he wrote in his academic and reading journal in 2011 that the number of 17 year olds that are interested in reading for pleasure has dropped down to 22%. And now teenagers may be more interested in reading online, but they are definitely not interested in reading printed materials. We are especially seeing a literacy problem with very young children. According to, according to Christy Austin, Austin, who's a doctor in education at the University of Texas, she stated in her Learning Disability Journal in 2017 that only 36% of third graders read at or above the proficient level. And by 12th grade, only 37% of students read at or above the same third grade level. What that means is that if you do not receive a good literacy education when you are younger, you will likely never gain it as you age. A low literacy rate in the United States negatively impacts citizens. According to Christy Austin, as I previously mentioned, she stated that being a poor reader can predict whether or not you will drop out of high school. And we all know the negative effects of dropping out of high school. Chuck Luddy, as I also previously mentioned, that stated that a lack of reading correlates heavily with unemployment, lower wages, and less opportunities for advancement. Now that I've discussed the literacy problem in the United States, let's now discuss how an overall education can be a solution. The first part of this solution is parental education. Parents need to be educated on how they can benefit their child's academic and literacy success. There needs to be resources and classes openly available to parents so that they can easily access important information that will help them. According to Jintawatas Salingstras, a postdoctoral researcher in education, said in his Applied Psychology Journal in 2012 that when a parent is more interested in invo and involved in doing an activity, their child will be more interested and involved in that activity. For example, if a parent watches a lot of TV in front of their child, that child will want to watch more TV and likely will. But if that same parent reads often in front of their child, their child will want to read more. Also, according to Jintawa, Jintawata Slingstras, he stated that a kindergartner's reading success can be predicted solely based off of how much shared reading the parent and child had. Shared reading is the parent reading to the child when they are young. Information like this needs to be openly available to parents so that they can learn how they can benefit their child's literacy and academic success. The second part of the solution is mandatory preschool. Right now, preschool is not mandatory and it's completely optional for parents to send their student to the preschool or to not send them there. With mandatory preschool, it would, it would remove this choice from the parents. According to Karen Kindle, a specialist in curriculum and instruction at the University of South Dakota, she stated in her Reading Improvement Journal in 2013 that reading in preschool classrooms builds many literacy skills like listening comprehension, speaking, and many other related skills. Also, according to Kai Delantonia, an author who writes about the youth in reading, wrote in the New York Times in 2014 that preschool is one of the most cost-effective ways for parents to have a positive influence 
on their young children's reading success. With mandatory preschool, all these students would be entering at a balanced education level when they go into kindergarten. It would no longer be the parent's choice whether or not their child will go to, to preschool. Today, I have informed you about the literacy problem in the United States, and then I gave you the solution of overall education. A low literacy rate in the United States has far-reaching effects. If those of us in this room had not received a strong literacy instruction and guidance from our parents and teachers, we would likely not even be giving speeches in this class. 